What is up guys and welcome back to another Crypto with Leo YouTube video. We're going to be talking through a really cool and hot topic at the moment, that being wrapped XRP to launch on Ethereum in December. Now we're going to talk about why that's so cool, what it means for XRP, what is a tokenized asset, what is a wrapped asset, I mean, uh, and, and furthermore, you know, what are the implications of it and why they're doing it. Then we're also going to go into a bit more news, uh, speculative stuff. Could we see this mean a, you know, a relist on Coinbase? Um, they've actually just had a relisting on Bitstamp, which we're going to get into as well. But first of all, I want to just take a quick look over the markets. Right now, it's been pretty stagnant this week. Nothing crazy is happening. What we are seeing, though, is a few altcoins pop off. Obviously, meta coins, they're going crazy anyway. That's because, you know, the amount of catalysts that have been going. If you haven't watched my everything you need to know about the metaverse video yet, make sure to go watch that. And also, guys, if you can give me a nice little subscribe in the bottom, I'm just starting this channel out. But like I said, I'm going to be bringing so much content to you guys. So as we can see right now, like I said, Bitcoin's stagnant, seven days, nothing really crazy is happening. Ethereum's, you know, pushing its all-time highs. So that's pretty awesome to see. Uh, but let's jump down to, you know, XRP. That's off the topic today. Up 10 10.5% for the week, which is, is, is nothing to, you know, shrug your shoulders at, even though I just shrugged my shoulders, no stress. Um, but we're seeing it trading at 118 now. I think TA-wise, XRP is looking like nothing is proven yet. However, it's looking like it is, you know, gearing up for some sort of push, which is going to be exciting to see. But that probably goes for alts in general. You know, is the path to alt season does show, you know, when Ethereum starts outperforming Bitcoin. Now, I don't think Bitcoin's finished just yet. I'd just like to disclaim that right now. Bitcoin has by no means finished its run yet, in my opinion. I just think, you know, what we're seeing now is a lot of volume flow into the markets. Everyone's eager, ready to go. So I guess just wait for wait for all season. Now, jump into the news. So David Schwartz tweeted this earlier this week, and that was uh, in response to wrapped.com. Now, what he said is wrapped XRP is coming to Ethereum. Great news for those that want access to XRP within the Ethereum wallets, DeFi and smart contracts. After all, it's multi-chain. It's multi so now I'm going to get into why he actually said that. We're going to jump onto this article really, really good. So obviously it's coming to Ethereum in December, that is the plan, and it said the move is meant to enable XRP holders to interact with aspects of DeFi, such as executing smart contracts for use in borrowing and lending, swapping for altcoins via the native tokens, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Currently the network, that being XRP obviously, can only handle sending, receiving, and holding XRP. So you can already see the amount of you know things that this is going to add, and it's you can see the value it's bringing. There's a reason they're doing it. And, I, and we already know David Schwartz, you know, is massively bullish on doing this, you know, making it multi-chain, et cetera. So I think this is really, really awesome news to see. And as it says uh, down here, wrapped XRP on the Ethereum blockchain starting in December. So yeah, guys, I'm, I'm excited for this, but why? Let's break it down. Not many people actually know what it is to, or what it means to be wrapped or to, you know, have it on another blockchain. So I put this slideshow together as I like to do. And I've said, let's break it down as I do. So as you can see on here, what is, does it mean for something to be wrapped? A wrapped token is a cryptocurrency token pegged to the value of another crypto. In this situation, the wrapped token is XRP and it's pegged to XRP. Now it's called a wrapped token because the original asset is put in a wrapper, uh, a kind of digital vault that allows the wrapped version to be created on another blockchain, this being XRP on Ethereum. So <laughs> I'm, all, I'm just excited in general. So now what is the point of this? Why are they doing this? Simply different blockchains offer different functionalities. Obviously, Ethereum is known for their smart contracts, et cetera. And it's already just been, I've listed the capabilities that it's going to offer. So the Bitcoin blockchain doesn't know what's happening on the Ethereum blockchain. That goes for any blockchain, really. Uh, through wrapped tokens, however, we can create more bridges between different blockchains. So you can see, you know, that is already a pretty massive point and what makes it very useful. So a wrapped token is a tokenized version of another currency. So therefore, it's not literally XRP. It is a wrapped version of XRP. It's a pegged to the value of the asset it represents. So wrapped XRP will be pegged to one-to-one -one with XRP and typically can be redeemed for its unwrapped at any point. So basically what it means is you can create, basically make it wrapped, use the Ethereum functionalities, then take it back and make it into XRP again. Now, in a wrapped tokens case, it is usually an asset natively living on another blockchain, um, wrap tokens increase interoperability. So this is obviously the benefits of it. Wrap tokens increase interoperability between the different blockchains. The underlying tokens in Essex go cross-chain. And that's exactly what we saw him see. Uh, it's a multi-chain after all from Ripple CTO David Schwartz. Absolute legend in my opinion. So furthermore, wrapped XRP. 
Wrap tokens on Ethereum are tokens from other blockchains, as I've stated, that are made to be compliant with the ERC-20 standard. This means that you can use assets that are not native to Ethereum on Ethereum. Obviously, XRP was not native to Ethereum. Being wrapped XRP, it is now an ERC-20 token, therefore native to Ethereum. So wrapped XRP, this, and this is where I'm just going to explain it in its simplest form because I feel like it's the best way to get things across. You know, it just, I, I, I learn like that. So I feel like if I can portray that onto you guys, I hope it helps. This is a tokenized version of XRP on Ethereum. Wrapped XRP will be an ERC-20 token that's supposed to hold a one-to-one -one peg to the value of XRP. Therefore, this allows you to effectively use XRP on the Ethereum network. Really is as simple as that, guys. I've literally just explained everything you need to know about what it means for a token to be wrapped and the benefits of it. So that pretty much fully tells you the functionalities and why they're doing it. And now you understand wrapped XRP, what it means and what it means for something to be on the, uh, basically an ESC20 token or wrapped on Ethereum. You can do it on other things. You can get wrapped, you know, on the, you can get wrapped on the Binance smart chain, et cetera. I mean, you, you've even seen wrapped Bitcoin, you've seen wrapped Ethereum, you've seen them all. Uh, so now you're seeing wrapped XRP coming in December, and that's what it means. Now, furthermore, we're going to head into the you know the more speculative part, the fun part of this video, and that is of course uh, Coinbase CEO and co-founder, as you can see on screen, tweeted this uh, quite a while ago. However, what it did show is that you know he's keeping an eye on the SEC lawsuit, and he kind of hinted that you know he thinks Ripple are putting in a good show, which I, I completely agree with. I still think we're going to end this lawsuit with a win. You know, my point, my, my bias stays the same. I'm extremely bullish on XRP, but I'm so bullish that, you know, I don't even get stressed about this lawsuit. If anything, I, I speculatively, I feel like it's planned. It was meant to happen, but we won't go into that. The Ripple case seems to be going better than expected, said Brian Armstrong. Meanwhile, the SEC is realizing that attacking crypto is politically unpopular because it harms consumers. I couldn't word that better myself. The SEC, you know, that one of their main functionalities is to protect investors. And I think in this case, what they've done is just completely unprecedented. You know, they didn't by no means protect investors. And that's why now we've actually seen investors go up against the SEC in the class action lawsuit led by John Deaton, of course. So I think what we're seeing here is, I mean, this in, in general kind of made people think, okay, cool, is Coinbase looking to relist XRP? They're at least looking into it. Now, Coinbase worked very closely with the SEC, hence why they do not have a huge variety of assets listed on their exchange. However, what they do have is coins with decent regulatory clarity in a way. Now, I know what you're going to say. They have Dogecoin, they have Shiba. That's a bit crazy. I'm not going to get into all of that. The way they like to work and they've portrayed in the past is that they like to work very closely with the SEC. Now, I feel like a catalyst, however, to what made Brian Armstrong tweet this was definitely the issues he had with the SEC to do with the Coinbase lending product. And what he did is basically since that, I think he's kind of created a bit of a negative bias towards the SEC, doesn't favor them too highly. Anyway, let's move on. Um, right now, what I'm going to give you an example of is why people have come up with this speculative idea that we're going to see wrapped XRP, as you can see down here, wrapped XRP, get listed on Coinbase. And obviously, that was the first idea. You know, Brian Armstrong has shown that he's keeping an eye on it. And, you know, he, he favors XRP in that sense. He understands that the SEC are not looking after investors. Next is the fact that we've seen them do it before with another wrapped asset, that being Terra Luna. As you can see right here, guys, Terra Luna, literally not wrapped, just Terra Luna. It was never listed on Binance. In fact, it was actually listed on, I mean, never listed on Coinbase. It was listed on Binance, Qcoin, Gate.io, Huobi, uh, Bitfinex, etc. But we never actually saw it listed on Coinbase. However, wrapped Luna came out, and that is a wrapped Luna token. As you can see, pegged to the same value of it, pegged one-to-one -one as a wrapped token is. However, this was wrapped an ERC-20 token now. And what happened? We're going from a non-wrapped token, just normal Terra Luna, wrapped Terra Luna, and look at that, listed on Coinbase. Now, this is where this huge narrative has come about from that, you know, now we're seeing wrapped XRP come in December. And may I add that strangely lines up with what we've seen XRP do in the past. It has huge pumps coming into the last months of this bull run. It's almost actually historically known as one of the assets which is last to run. So yeah, that's where the speculation, that explains it fully, uh, easy to understand way. So we, the two the two reasons as to why people are thinking it, Brian Armstrong has shown he's keeping an eye on the case, understands the SEC aren't protecting investors, 
also shows that he is looking out for XRP investors by talking about it. Um, and the fact that they have done this before with another wrapped ERC20 token. Now, in my opinion, I think this is going to give a massive headache to the SEC. Reason being, you know, you've got um, now you've got ERC20 token XRP. Um, and obviously everyone knows free pass Ethereum. That's a bit of a joke um, jumping around. So now we've got free pass Ethereum plus definite security, according to the SEC XRP. Um, and so that's the narrative of it. I think it's going to give them one hell of a headache, but I don't think any of us are too stressed about that. But that pretty much, you know, wraps up this video. I do hope you have, you know, found this interesting. Uh, there isn't much more to go into. As you can see on here, this is just proof, you know, wrapped Luna is an Ethereum token that's intended to represent Luna. Obviously, as you'd expect with a wrapped token, one-to-one. -one. Um, and basically, as you can see here, it allows people to participate in DeFi and all the other benefits as well. So there are massive benefits to being a wrapped token. Like you said, it adds interoperability and allows assets to go cross-chain. Now, what is some really good news about XRP? We've just seen it get relisted on Bitstamp. Now, I was going to end the video, but I just have to tell you this news straight away. This is a really cool relisting. And the reason I say is when you come down here. So Bitstamp Exchange announced on November 3rd that it was going to be relisting. The move comes after it halted the trading of XRP on December 25th. Now, the initial allegations and this lawsuit came about on December 20th. So these were in the this was in the group of one of the first exchanges to actually halt the trading of it. Um, and they actually did clarify it in this tweet right here. We've enabled all order types for these trading pairs, XRP, USDT at the bottom right there. Trade away. Now, everyone was mentioning about that. Basically, it's literally there because of um, basically it's an alphabetical order. Nothing nothing too crazy at all. Key note to know, uh, to know about, guys, is the fact that, as you can see here, while the step uh, while the step from the exchange is the first of its kind, it's still unsure if the US exchanges like Coinbase will follow Bitstamp's footsteps. Also, this is only really allowed for um, this is everyone else. This is good for this relisting, but US holders. Now that makes very much sense. Um, so basically, is this going to cause a ripple effect? Are we going to see other exchanges follow? Um, and furthermore, are we going to see wrapped XRP take a hit back on Coinbase? Those are the questions we need answers for. Subscribe if you want to keep updated on all this. I'm going to have daily videos coming out for you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. Subscribe, like, comment. I mean, it helps this channel out and it's free to do. Um, thank you very much, guys. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace out.